Colin King. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there's a, a saying that's very appropriate uh, today for the All Blacks as well as the John Key led government at this time, leading up to not only the finals of the Rugby World Championship but also the general elections uh, in the end of November. And that saying is when the going gets tough, the tough keep going. And keep going certainly describes the actions of this government. And on this side of the House, we say, let's celebrate that. Just like that dazzling move and perfect timing of the pass between Perry Wepu and Corey Jane on Saturday night that resulted in a seven-pointer to the All Blacks, so have the policies. The policies of John Key and the government have treated, worked well and have treated this country uh, to a very positive future during what other members of the globe would call a global financial meltdown. Today, more than ever, New Zealanders are confident that we are building toward a brighter future, a future that all New Zealanders clamour for, and we on this side of the House believe that that is worth celebrating. Also similar to last Saturday night's pool match between the All Blacks and the French, the outstanding performance of this government, led by John Key, has left the opposition on the back foot, with gaps appearing all across the field in the opposition team. So let's celebrate with New Zealand some of the many achievements of this John Key-led government. We are the envy of the world with our primary sector underpinning the nation's economy, producing quality proteins that the world sees as safe and healthy, produced in a country that upholds the highest of environmental integrity. Remarkably, this country has managed to keep its costs down towards the producer, and that is compliments to the government. This has enabled the farming sector, the primary sector, to get back up on its feet, Mr Speaker, after 10 years of spiralling costs. We on this side of the House say, let's celebrate that. While regularly we hear of the issues of the United States and Europe's financial problems, we here in New Zealand have confidence to know that our sovereign debt will top out at around 30 per cent of GDP. That is after fully funding, Mr Speaker, the Canterbury earthquakes, and they are the worst natural disaster that have hit this country uh, in its history, and New Zealanders celebrate the way in which the government has attended to the vulnerability of, of New Zealand. Incidentally, Mr Speaker, the debt top out that this country will face is merely a quarter of the average of the OECD countries. We on this side of the House say let's celebrate that. Interest rates. Interest rates are the lowest they have been for 40 years. And whilst the opposition may not like to hear that, it is very important to make that point because under a John Key-led government, not only are they the lowest they've been for 40 years, they will remain lower for longer, and that gives business a lot of confidence. This puts money back into the pockets of all New Zealanders, and a graphic example of that would be the average family on a $200,000 mortgage for their home effectively have $10,000 more dollars to decide what they wish to do with it, and that is $10,000 a year more than when Labor left office. On this side of the House, we say that that is certainly worth celebrating. That amount of money in the pockets of hard-working New Zealanders is a game-changer. It is also points on the board for this government, led by John Key, and all New Zealanders, New Zealanders on that account, Mr Speaker, are winners. So there is an incredible amount to celebrate in New Zealand at this time, over and above the Rugby World Cup. We've got the best returns for the primary sector uh, in a lifetime, the lowest interest rates for 40 years, and an economic growth strategy that is functioning far better than the majority, if not most, of the OECD. So, Mr Speaker, it's a wonderful opportunity from this point of view to be confronting an election at this time. The economic growth uh, will translate into employment opportunities as we see the lid sinking on the unemployment numbers uh, and they will become greatly reduced. Here we're speaking about employment around productivity gains, not the jobs 
of growth and wasteful government under Labor. In consultation, Mr Speaker, it's a wonderful time to be on this side of the House and we've got a lot to celebrate.